running through these niggas, running, running through. Running through these niggas, running, running through. I'm outside and I'm calling all the big shots. You niggas rain on me lit when you on TikTok. A rich bitch, I know you see this rich watch. He a freak, so I let his fucking bitch watch. Ah, the rich antique, go pull me up some Hennessy. I come with a carry on. That mean I got a bag and good dough. Slurp it up. And I'm nasty like a foxy flow. I ride dick, no feelings, I'm a toxic hoe. Yeah. Niggas mad cause I ain't called back. I'm out here getting money, nigga, where your stacks? Huh? Ah, make niggas come out. So I called his friend. He know that I keep it clean. Yeah, I'm pure for me. And while it's horse lit, when he pour it in, get a man with some money like Porsche did. Leave my news, that's a no no. Trying to get I decided after everything that went on at the restaurant, things that have been going on in between, I thought I wanted to get an in depth insight of J Dot's mind about where he was coming from with this whole situation between him and Karma because. I like J Dot, but he has a tendency to sometimes disappoint me because he'll he'll stray one way and I'll be like, yeah, I'm with you with that. And then it just goes to a whole different way. So I want to sit down and actually have a conversation with him and see like where he's coming from with this karma thing because it's almost like, like I said, he seems to poke her, like poke at her every time she around. Like you know when she about to come around, it's almost like you trying to and like irritate her on purpose. There's a little shit that he does that irritates her and that he does that he irritates her on purpose. I did have other engagements here already. I've had these engagements honestly since last year. Mm -hmm. So it was like, you know, when the trip was already brought about, I already knew that on that date for Friday, I had to be somewhere. So there was no nothing I could do to get out of that. It was a vibe. I know they called me and told me. It was a vibe. It was lit. It was, it was a vibe. We went out there, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who picked the place for us to go. It was like, they was like this. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> Not like this. Like this. <laughs> like, this is where we're going to go. <laughs> we're going here. <laughs> so it was funny. But it's like it's, it was a cool little you know, vibe, but it was like a small town. Why were you able to make the cash trip? Was it because of your own <clears throat> fight? Why wouldn't you ever make the group trip? So I wasn't able to make the group trip awesome. Honestly, because it was like done at the end of the month. So, you know, when we did it, it was like going on like the next few days would be the first. You know, and by me having Mr. Cake Me Happy, I have make my own money from my company. You know, that, that's what I do to make money. You know, I sell cakes for a living. So I had to get out here and I had to grind. You know, I had bills that had came up and then I had extra stuff for this that I needed. And though I wanted to do the cash trip, I felt like it would have been me being irresponsible just to have that moment, you know what I'm saying? And I felt bad, you know, because um, I was going to just choose to do it, you know, in this <laughs> But then it would have resulted on me and my art, my roommates getting into an argument because then they would have had to put up my half of the rent, you know what I'm saying? Just to cover it in time, you know, until I came back and got it, you know, straightened out. So um, that's all it was, was just simply just putting priorities in order. I did feel like the last time that me and you had saw each other though, which was at the, um, the lit off for Jamal's father, mm. you know, and then we had sat there, you know, we had took time to talk about karma, you know, um, I did feel as if nobody was in regards caring about the fact of, of how I feel personally, you know what I'm saying? Like even today, since we've been talking, you know, I've sat down to be able to think it over mm. and just, you know, I'm not ever negative about it when you talk to me regularly. It's just that, you know, I do have my asshole moments, but in a moment of really feeling like if she had had a weapon because nobody seems Everybody seems to say that she's not in the ready place or whatever, mm -hmm. but if she has a weapon or something, I honestly still feel in this moment that she would take out a weapon and have used it versus using plates on the table. Mm -hmm. And it's like when people, people are, are not really hearing the fact that the plate or whatever it was actually hit my forehead. Mm -hmm. And I'm not so overly egotistical to sit there and even acknowledge because it was when I laid in my bed that night, I was like, hold up, my forehead hurt. Yeah. And it was like, what the fuck? I got a knot on my forehead. I was like, that me? Yeah. Um, see, I'm it always comes across as supportive. Oh. Mm. Because she does, she never comes at you in, in ill energy. You know what I'm saying? So it's not ever from ill intent. You know, I think she just, I mean, I honestly think the girl could care more. 
on what was said between Karma or me. I don't even think that really it really doesn't even bother her, you know. But the fact of the matter is, is that um is that she wanted to show support for Karma. So you know, she wanted to at least know what my headspace was on on everything, you know. Um, and I couldn't knock her because Siana, Siana, she's like good people. Do studs go through any like stigmas that they face with inside of their community of oh, all people? All the time. All the time. See, like we don't we don't really know that you All know what i'm saying time. but within our community we go through a lot of different things mm -hmm. and every time a guy had called me a f called me a sissy or something you know derogatory i couldn't just hit him just because he had said something derogatory mm -hmm. you used to go through that in school and you, you you would be fighting everybody so it's like you just had to suck it up mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so it's like in no but in no format would have been okay if i would have just threw the first punch mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying even though i felt like i've been punched with the word i can't physically throw a punch and she physically do something that connected with me. Mm -hmm. And it's like, nobody cares. Like even Ty, even in his response to this day, mm -hmm. Ty even still just doesn't feel as if it was important. You know what I'm saying? I like, mean, I feel like it is important now. That was the first time that I heard that you actually got hit. Yeah. So that was the first time that I actually heard that you got hit. Cause I, I was right. in the mission of trying to <laughs> away. <laughs> so a lot of shit that I didn't see, I just seen plates and tables. Yeah, and I didn't even know I got hit. You know I, what was like, I was like, I was trying to get the but I couldn't. I was locked in in the corner. But I, that was the first time that I heard that you got hit. So, like, I understand, like, I would be pissed, too. Now, I, I, I was guess, still trying to figure out how the hell I got hit and didn't even were able to recognize. I was like, boy, that thing. You know, you know, the adrenaline, everything. Yes. It, was a lot, it was a lot going on. Everything, like, a lot of shit is blurry in my head because everything was going so fast. Yeah. Like, everything slowed down when we had to play up. But, like, for me, like, I feel like I understand where you're coming from. Like. I, I can't I can't say if she would have did that if she had a gun or not. Just like you don't know because you don't know her like that. You know what I'm saying? We we like I said we're all getting to know each other every day, every step. You know what I'm saying? So the group doesn't really support me like that. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't they treat me as if I'm an outcast. You know they treat me as if I'm not gay. You know and I mean I could understand that I've had ways you know that I've expressed that have made them feel a certain type of way. You know maybe some unfortunate ways about myself, you know, have made it come off as if maybe I'm a little bit homophobic or transphobic. I mean, that's impossible because I'm gay. But I do understand that I, I do understand that I put people down and I probably say things that is mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll utilize words the same way it was utilized when Carmen used them to me to put people down as if I'm not a part of that same group of people. So um, I feel like I've, and I could say maybe I alienated myself. You know what I'm saying? Maybe right. they're so used to being them and I'm so used to only trying to fit in with them in a sense. I'm wanting to experience with them, you know what I'm saying, to to see, you know what I'm saying, like what it could be, you know, because I've never had a, a group of gay friends that were this open as being gay, you know what I'm saying, you know, like, um, you know, um, like Avon or or Chrissy, you know what I'm saying, or Vey, you know what I'm saying. And so you never know, hung around these type of gay people? I didn't hang with them ever. No. So, um, you know, and some say, you could say it's, you know, because I put myself in boxes, but I have comfortable gay friends that are gay and they're just masculine and they're guys and, you know, and that's just how they are, you know? So we're still gay and we know who we are, you know what I'm saying? But we just don't act like them. And I mean, I, I mean, can it be a negative and a positive to it? Yeah. You, you know, I mean, I mean, I have other things I could say, but I don't want to say that. <laughs> What kind of distracts the part that you got hit and feeling about all that? Like if she had a gun and sh when you start digging into her, like you start being funny, like you said, start being funny and digging into her. That's when people start being like, how can we if you keep doing that shit? You feel I me? I mean, well, how can you expect me to just sit there and just. But I get it. <laughs> yeah. I you mean, know what I I'm get it, I have but... to make light of the situation and be a little asshole because, because you cross because you cross my personal space. It's different than us just having a verbal of words, mm -hmm. you honestly have warranted, I could be as mm -hmm. I want to be to you now. Mm -hmm. If I don't want to be nice and I feel like boxing in your face anytime I see you, I actually have that right now mm -hmm. because you've already crossed my personal space. Mm -hmm. So there's no there's no time period on me being able to get my get back to mm -hmm. you. You know what I'm saying? It can happen at any moment. But the fact of the matter is, is I'm not that type of person. Yes. So I've been trying to be nice about it and you don't even care that you hit me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I, the absolutely. person don't even care that they hit me, like because we haven't even been able to speak about it. Yeah. So, and I don't know what people are speaking to her about, but you don't even probably care that you did hit me because you intentionally wanted to hit me. Um, I think the conversation went well. Um, I got to see his side of it because, as I said before, we don't really all know each other like that. 
So when he was saying that he don't know what Carmen would have did if she would have pulled out a gun and shot him, she would. Hey, I don't know what Carmen would have did either because I wasn't expecting her to but <laughs> So at that aspect, I kind of get it. There ain't no telling what a person might do. But if you know you are putting her to a point where you feel like a person might feel like they want to shoot you, I think you might want to stop now. Now where I know where you're comes from i mean i'm not saying it's good it's cool <laughs> but i mean you you grown man you're gonna do what you're doing and stand on her you feel me can't yeah. nobody change that you know what i'm saying and i understand like nigga, if i got hit and i couldn't do nothing about it nigga, i'm on your ass until i feel better so i feel it yeah i feel it i get it i mean i get it now that now that you know what i'm saying we didn't talk to you you didn't got your perspective out too